just got back from going to dinner with my best friend Eliana and I just wanted to show you that we also went to Target and I found something that I was super excited about. I just talked about this um, brand J.R. Watkins on a I don't know if I already posted the video. If I did, I'll link it right here for you guys um, about this all-natural brands. And I thought I was going to have to order this online and then saw that they have it at Target. They have a few of their products at Target. Not all of them, so if you really want to check their stuff out, go to the link on my video. But this is what I was wanting a lot. And it's the Lemon Cream Lotion. This is the hand and body lotion. Um, it smells... Oh, it smells exactly like lemon pound cake or lemon cookies. It smells so good. It makes you just smell so delicious. Um, and how much? 11 fluid ounces, so a ton of product in here. Then I also got my mom a pair of flip-flops and me another pair of these flip-flops. I now have them in silver. Um, I'm not showing you them. I have them in silver, too. Rose gold that I'm wearing today. And then I also picked up a black pair today. And then I picked up my mom a rose gold pair because those seem to be the most popular because it's like the new color for this season. Apparently they have these flip-flops every year. I don't know. But they're super, super comfy. They're $14, I think. But they're totally worth it. But I had to get another pair because I feel like they're not the most, they're not the best quality, but they're so comfy that I know I'm going to wear these out you know, pretty easily over the summer because I wear flip-flops almost every single day. And now that I have three pairs, hopefully they won't wear out as quickly. Hi, honeybees. I'm totally not showing you my face <laughs> because it's disgusting because I just did hot yoga for the first time since a while, like probably over a year. Um, I did it at my studio because I get it for free now and I don't know why I have it. I've been working there for over two weeks now, but I just hadn't gotten the chance to come to yoga yet um, since I'm working two jobs. So I did it today, and I don't feel like I did amazing, but they said I did good, but I don't feel like I did amazing because I had I had to sit a, like one or two times that I felt nauseous, but they said that's to be expected, and I know that. I just really want to kill it every time, you know, but I do feel like I got a lot out of it, um, so I feel good. Hi honeybees, I am on my way to work to the yoga job and working all night today. It's really hot out today again, 106 degrees. Just have my like hot pink half slouchy shirt on with my yoga pants and um, just what's it called, tank underneath, natural curls. And I'm actually wearing a new fun lip gloss by Tarte. Love the packaging, I'm going to talk about it in my favorites, but I really, really like it. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, one serious thing. My mom had eye surgery today. Her retina got torn, or it's almost torn. It's tearing on her left eye, I believe. And so she's in surgery while I'm at work today. And I don't like eyeballs. I don't know if I told you guys, but I am terrified of eyes. I don't like eyes. I don't like touching my own eye. don't like anything in movies with eyeballs, like poking eyeballs or anything like that. I just, they really creep me out. And yeah, it's freaking me out that she's having her eye surgery. So hopefully everything goes okay. Crossing my fingers and saying a prayer. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hi, honeybees. I'm off to yoga this morning to not to work but to practice. And I just wanted to show you my outfit real quick. I just have my hair up in a messy bun. No makeup, obviously, because I'm just going to sweat it off anyway. This is actually a built-in sports bra top from um, Old Navy. It has a peace sign on the front. And, yeah, I have my yoga pants from Victoria's Secret on. I really don't want to go, honestly. I mean, it's awesome for your body, but it's early. It's 8. It's not that early. I guess it's 8 a.m. And I'm in pain still from two nights ago, or two days ago, when I did yoga. I am still in pain. Um, like, my muscles are still aching, but I'm thinking, or I'm hoping, that the heat in the room beforehand will, you know, loosen up my muscles a bit so that I can practice okay today, but I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. Good morning, honeybees. I'm off to my work my yoga job. Uh, I just wanted to show you real quick what my outfit looked like and my makeup. I actually did a bit more of a dramatic eye because I'm going to the ballet later today and I just didn't want to do my makeup later. So that's what it looks like. I just used the Naked 2 palette and my Chanel, um, the cream based shadow. I forget what it's called. But I have a tutorial using it. 
on my lips. I don't have any lip gloss yet, but I have Max Shy Girl on and Max Glowy Blush that I'm forgetting the name of. I'm so failing you. I'll post it here. Um, this shirt is from Kohl's, I believe. It's like a built-in top shirt. And then I have my um, Victoria's Secret yoga pants on the ASU ones. I'm like folding it under. Hold on. Okay, there we go. And that's pretty much it. And my hair is just up. I braided it and it's up in a bun. And that's it. I'll see you guys later. Honeybees, forgot to show you my look for tonight. I'm going to the ballet with my um, one of my best friends, Haley. I just did my left my hair in a bun. Um, this is my dramatic eye for the night. I forgot to put my Buxom lip gloss on. Right now, I just have the YSL number one on. And then I have my half shirt, the bow shirt from H and M. I'll show this. I'll show you pictures afterwards since I forgot to do a full length. Um, then I have these bracelets, I have the Marc Jacobs rose gold chain bracelet, my, my um, Michael Kors, and then the black one is from Charming Charlie's. also have my Jewel Mint um, Jatem ring on, and then I have this really cute purse, it's furry, and has um, rose gold details on it, has a rose gold chain as well, super super cute. And then I just have like sparkly flip flops on. And then my earrings are these little black hearts. And that's it. I'll show, show you pictures of the ballet and my outfit after this clip. For a ride, then, who's going? Just Hello. you. Do patty cakes. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. High five. High five. Okay. High five, Harley. High five. Good boy. Good boy. No biting. So no away. biting. <laughs> he's so cute. Look, he's just lounging. Um, he's so cute. No biting, Mama. <laughs> You're silly. No, bye, Baba. Say hi. Hi, honeybees. I am in the Santan Mall, which is like an outdoor mall driving. I'm on my way to Forever 21. A few accessories. Just look around because I haven't been to Forever 21 in a while. Um, and then I am going to meet my friend Ashley for sushi. Um, it's Sunday today, so it's just a fun little outing out. I did work this morning, and it was a good day at work, though. It wasn't too crazy, and it was fun. I mean, I always have so much fun at my yoga job. Uh, that's it for now. Hi, honeybees. Sorry about the weird lighting and stuff. Just don't pay attention to that. But I went to Forever 21, like I just said. I just wanted to show you real quick what I got. Um, only jewelry, more arm candy ahead. I had such a hard time picking. I'm going to post a picture like right here or show you right now. Um, there was two different pyramid style bracelets that looked like this. I ended up just getting the gold. Um, if you guys know, if you see my arm candy like on Instagram and stuff, you know I have an orange one of this. But I could not resist getting another one in a regular plain color like this. They had silver and gold. I wanted both, but I ended up getting gold because it seems like I've been wearing gold more often than silver. And the silver one was super, super shiny. Even though this one's pretty shiny as well, I think it will look good with a lot more. So I'm going to show you it on with my other jewelry. Okay, so then I also got this really, really cute bow clasp bracelet. This was $4.80, and they also had it in black. It has rhinestones down the middle. Super, super cute. And it's just a clasp, and it matches really well with the pyramid gold bracelets. So there's that together. Then I also got these. Um, it's a set of three really pretty beaded bracelets in turquoise and gold, and a few clear beads as well. They're really, they're not too heavy. They feel really comfy. They were $9.80 for a set of three. 
and that's what that looks like on my arm. I just think it looks really cute for summer. Like, it would even be cute just to wear on the beach. I know, like, who wears jewelry on the beach? Me. <laughs> okay, and then I saw this set, and I had to get it, because first off, I love this bracelet. It's Little Roses, and then, of course, I love it because of the mint green color, and it came in a set of four for $5.80. And I'll show you. I think it looks really cute with the bow bracelet. So there you go. I and this is the really cute purse I'm wearing today. I think my mom got it at TJ Maxx. She got me and my grandma one. It has this really cool pattern on it. It's kind of like wood. It looks like wicker kind of to me, but obviously it's not. And then it has faux brown leather and this cute little gold um, coin purse kind of style clasp. And it's by Bueno is the company and then I just have my a little bit of stuff in my purse today nothing too crazy and it has two long straps so I can put it around my shoulder it's so comfortable to go shopping with I just wanted to quickly show you that I went to Walgreens just now to pick up some essentials um, but I also got three actually four little things um, first off I get these persona eyebrow shapers um, they're just like little sh mini shavers and I actually use this for below my eyebrow here also like little fuzzies if you get a little bit of fuzz on your not like anything noticeable but I just don't like any hair anywhere so I take that off like on the side right by my sideburns and then also if you have like any fuzzies by your lip I take that off with this so I don't have to constantly go get waxes so I got those and then I saw the new amazing colors from Essie um, first off, I think, I don't know the collection's name, but it's the new summer collection from Essie. And this is in the color Camera. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, corally pink color. Isn't it so pretty? I'm in love. This would be so pretty in the summer on your toes. And then this color has been talked about a lot on um, YouTube lately, and it's called Playdate. And it's a gorgeous lilac purple. And then I got a new lipstick by Maybelline. And these are the Color Sensational ones. Um, this is a new line, though. It's special edition packaging. It has kind of like a um, frosted look to it. And I got the color Nude Nuisances, number 865. And they had lots of really pretty nudish colors. That's what it looks like really really pretty I'm excited to try it out I'll probably try it out tomorrow if it ends up being my favorites this week possibly I don't know but just okay just painted my nails I'm totally disappointed though because I think because I have my gel underneath that's a blue glitter it came the colors came out more mudded um, like muddy red instead of this really pretty coral color um, which is the new one I just got in the color camera which is much more of a corally color it came out more of a dark red muddy kind of red and I hate this color because of so I think if I maybe did a coat of white and then did that it'd be okay anyway the accent nail is Tarte Deco which that came out good that came out pretty similar to the actual color and like I said, that is Tarte Deco. So I'll probably leave it on it for like a day or two, but I'm going to be changing it soon because I hate that it's like a muddy red. Anyways. So I added some gold flecks to them with this Essie Lux Effects in as gold as it gets. I'm much happier with them now. Still not the effect that I wanted because I wanted more of a coral look, but that'll do for a day or two. So I just got done repainting my nails because I was just not happy with yesterday's coloring. So I used this nail foundation by Butter London to go on top of my nails first so that it would give it that clean look so that the colors would really be, the tr be true to color. And then I used Trout Pout for all of my, most of my nails and the accent nail I used Pink Friday from the Nicki Minaj OPI collection. And this is what they look like. I am so much more happy with this look. 
much more of a true coral and pink. Pretty, I like it. Hi honeybees, I'm driving around. I just went to Ulta. So disappointed in Ulta though, because their coupons are crap because you can't use it on anything. So that annoyed me because I'm trying to get things for a swap with Beauty by Kitty, I believe her name is. Um, we're doing a swap in July and I'm just trying to finish up getting some good stuff for her and I'm so annoyed. They wouldn't take my coupon. So I had to use it on my Neutrogena eye remover, which I think I saved like two bucks. Woo! <laughs> and then I also went to Michael's to get micro beads because you know those pretty caviar nails that people do? The little teeny um, bottles that are at Sephora are ridiculous amounts of money just for one color and so I got a set of like 12 I think and I used a 40% off coupon at Michael's so thinking ahead people thinking ahead and now I'm going to the post office I have to mail a letter and after that I'm gonna go to Walgreens because I need to pick up a um, backup of this lipstick I'm wearing right now it's limited edition by Maybelline and it's called Nude Nuances and it's gorgeous. It's my all-time favorite like sexy nude lipstick right now so I'm gonna get I'm gonna try to get two more if they have it because I'm gonna get one for Beauty by Kitty probably. So that's it for now. Hi honeybee. so I just got back from Ulta Walgreens. Um, where else did I go? Oh Michaels. I'm first gonna show you Ulta. So one essential, I needed to get my oil-free eye makeup remover by Neutrogena. Um, I have about this much left on my other one, I just wanted to get another one. Then I saw these two little things at the end cap and ugh, got suckered in. I've been wanting to try the Zoya 3-in-1 um, formula for um, your nail polish remover and I didn't want to buy the full size. This one was $4, um, it was on the end cap so I'll let you know how I like that. And then I also got this Hawaiian Tropic Shimmer Effect um, Moisturizer. This is in the Coconut Papaya. And this was, I think, $2.50. And the reason I just got the little two fluid ounce one is because I want to throw it in my purse, number one. And number two, I smelled the other one before at like CVS or something. And I thought it smelled terrible and someone had raved about it and said it's really gorgeous on the skin and makes your skin shimmery um, like while you're on the beach and stuff. So I smelled this one. I just put it on my arm. It actually smells very good. So I do like this one. Then I really wanted to get another um, Glide On, Slide On Glide On NYX pencil. And this is in Azure. And it's just a really awesome blue. You can see that. So I'm excited about that. And then it was buy one get one 50% off and I really wanted to try the NYX eyeshadow base in the white. It's just, you know, a pot. Because I've been using the Milk um, eyeshadow pencil to prime my eyes. And so I thought this might be easier. I've been really holding off on getting this nail polish and I think it's such a gorgeous color. It's by Butter London and it's in the color Slapper. I'm sure you can see that. And it's just a really, really gorgeous darker teal. It's so, so pretty. I can't wait. Then at Walgreens, I just got these precision tip Q-tips because I needed them when I do my nails. I get, you know, paint around the edges. So this is supposed to be easier than a regular Q-tip because it's not as fuzzy and it's like a, you know, defined tip. And then I got two more of the Maybelline, um, what do they call them? I forget, this is just like the new limited edition ones. They're on like their own little section. They're not in the Maybelline area. I got these at Walgreens. They're like a new collection and they are from the Color Sensational line though. I did get a backup of the Nude Nuances, which is my new favorite lipstick right now. I'm wearing it. Then I also, they didn't have two of the Nude Nuances, so I got the Afternoon Tea color, which looks like your lips a bit better kind of color. And I think I'm probably going to give this in my swap package, but I thought it was really pretty too. So if you guys haven't checked these out, go, go, go. Because it's so, even the packaging is so pretty. It's like a frosted pink packaging. And these were like $6 a piece. And then at Michael's, I got my micro bead set. And this is from Martha Stewart Crafts. And there's 12 different colors in this, which is an amazing deal. I got this for $11. They're usually $16 something, like $16.50. But I had a 40% off coupon, which it was $11 with tax. Um, so there's like a white, uh, like champagne color, a gold, a silver, an orange, like a tangerine, a red, a hot pink, a light pink, 
a lavender, a light blue, a tealish green, and like a darker teal. Like I guess that's more like a green. That's more like a teal. So I'm going to do caviar nails with these. Much more expensive way to do caviar nails because the little sets that they have at Sephora, you just get one little container of one color and it, ha it comes with a nail polish too. I'll link what the price is of that right here because I don't remember. But I know this is way more economical because you can just use your regular nail polish and mix these to make a pretty combo and you have a ton, a ton of product here and so many more colors, color options. So if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I do caviar nails, let me know and I'd be more than willing to do that.